It's Graham here at Crestron, and where am I today? Where do you think I am? Well, I could be in a forest, but I am actually in the middle of a road. Here it is. I am going to talk about a roadmap. So what do we have on the Microsoft Teams room and devices roadmap coming up, let's say for the next four months till the end of this calendar year. So what we can find out quite easily where everything is by just jumping to the Microsoft uh, website. So here we go. We jump over to the public website here. In the address bar, we can type aka.ms forward slash MTR roadmap. And what do we have here? So we can filter out things that are rolled out, that are launched. Uh, so if we just look at rolling out and uh, we take off that filter now. So this is anything that contains Teams rooms in this description. So what we have here is a Teams casting for iOS app. So you've got that on your phone or your tablet. You're able to cast and wirelessly share your, your content from there. So you can share a PowerPoint or you can share your screen. So that's from the iOS Teams app. And also we have it for the Android app. Uh, and then we have breakout rooms, which actually I'll do a new video on quite soon um, on how you can use a Microsoft Teams room on Windows in a breakout room. So device management and GCC high. And then we have the uh, Teams uh, annotation in PowerPoint Live. So that's all running out now and uh, getting out there. But we want to focus on what's in development now. In the past, I've done some blog posts outlining what is happening and where. So let's run through from the top what we have. So we have the uh, control from a device. So using your, again, Teams client, you'll be able to do uh, room remote control from there. It will discover that you're near a room, disable or enable this feature on the Microsoft Teams room itself, and then uh, be able to adjust that mic and camera. Uh, audio levels, etc., and leave the meeting. So, if you just want that room functionality, that's a great tool to have here, and it's coming for Windows. Now, we have Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows, and we also have Microsoft Teams rooms on Android. So, there are some subtle differences, uh, and not everything is released at the same time. Uh, also, here on the roadmap, you can see when it was added up to the roadmap and when it was last modified. So, all these were modified uh, this week, actually, on the 31st. Uh, so, we can see it's updated and uh, it's now coming planned for September. This one I'm really looking forward to uh, the Teams room capacity notifications. Now, again, this is based on using certain cameras that can do people counting uh, on, and facial detection. Um, it'll then tell the number of people that are in the the uh, room now also what this feature should be able to do show that on a microsoft teams panel outside the room that the room capacity so in conjunction with the teams panel app uh, that should be there now again this doesn't say if it's uh, windows or android uh, maybe it's for both because it's server side potentially then we have the teams room on android wired hdmi ingest uh, again a big request on the uh, android or collaboration bar appliances this is now being supported by microsoft and then the other vendors need to support this on their platform too and then you can have that physical um hdmi ingest now again you've got casting so you could get around it with that but some people do love a, a physical cable to plug in especially when you've got guests in the organization uh, in your meeting room spaces they want to plug in without any hassle so again that uh, should be rolling out but that will be vendor specific ip based video and audio um this is another one that's been around uh, quite a while actually and ip based audio and video devices can be selected as sources in the Microsoft Teams room. Now again, on Windows, now you could sort of say this is already here today with the uh, Shure and Crestron announcement. So using that IntelliMix room on the Crestron C100 Microsoft Teams room on Windows, that's using Dante Audio uh, to connect your microphone and speakers to the IntelliMix room over the network. So that's available today. It'd be interesting to see what the camera uh, devices are. Um, is that NDI? Because we know we can do that in the desktop, but can we do it on the Teams room? So looking forward to seeing what happens there. So we've got the Teams casting for Microsoft Teams rooms. Again, this is the same thing. Ah, this is not the same. This is Teams casting from your desktop, I believe. No, it says mobile phone. 
interesting but i have heard it is coming for the desktop as well so maybe that's what that is there so then we have the room remote control for android now again this is the same feature that would be on the windows platform that you can control that microphone uh, hang up etc uh, so again feature parity across android and windows next up is um breakout rooms for support on uh, android platform now this wasn't available initially for teams rooms on windows uh, i tested it actually uh, last month and it is working so I need to get a, a video recording done for that and I'll hopefully get it done within the next week or so but how you can use a Microsoft Teams room on Windows in a breakout room so really good for those um, workshops you might be running remotely with several different sites together or even in education being able to break out different groups of people together and actually include the room there as well so that's on Windows available today just note that is December now uh, on there for the Android platform then what else we've got um, so here we go teams meeting roster update so this is the uh, going to be a new look and feel on the microsoft teams console on the windows interface so you'll be able to see a, a newer look and feel that's more similar to the desktop client so where everything is the roster list and the, the bottom rail where you've got the hang up and everything else so that will make it all nice and simple and consistent uh, like the desktop app where you've got grouped participants so you've got the people invited you've got the presenters etc so that'll be a nice uh, clearer workflow um, within the teams room console there uh, management in uh, dod tenants uh, so that is coming in for there for all devices and then we can jump to page two breakout rooms that's not for teams rooms uh, breakout room presenter support and uh, da -da 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 -da, breakout rooms so here's another one that is coming. This might have been shown off publicly. I know it's in preview at the moment, uh, but basically the Microsoft Teams room on a Surface Hub. So previously it had a uh, initially a Skype client, then a Teams client, but it's getting the same user interface that we're used to uh, with Teams, and that's coming to the Surface Hub. Uh, so that'll be a really nice addition uh, on there. Another great feature coming to the front of room display, and again this is on uh, Windows. This is the chat bubbles uh, during a meeting. So let's say we're in a call and someone sends a link or a, a survey or a short URL maybe. That will now pop up on the front of room display. So people can know there's a, a message in the chat. Obviously we can't see chat on the center of room console, um, but we'll get a chat notification bubble on the front of room display. So again, you could then join from your uh, laptop or tablet device to see what that message is. So great uh, ability there uh, to be more inclusive in that meeting. Uh, dynamic view on single and dual display. So uh, this is a new uh, view, again, coming to the Windows platform. Um, so being able to let you control what you want on the displays so whether you've got a single display or a dual display in that conference room have people side by side uh, so this is a great new feature that i'm looking forward to seeing uh, when it comes out um, large gallery view again if you're on the gcc high tenant you'll be able to get that large gallery and together mode uh, that we have today already in standard uh, tenants so this is a new one that i've been sort of asking the microsoft product group for is that it the video frame will automatically zoom out so a lot of times we're getting cropping um on the desktop client when you're viewing a room which means it might be cutting some people out so now you're able to fit to frame so the team's room will actually capture everything in the room so that's a nice again user experience uh, to see on there so for again microsoft teams rooms on windows the ability for a uh, device to join as a presenter or attendee based on the the role that's been assigned to that user and then you get the appropriate controls along the bottom as well um so again being more inclusive in these large meetings webinars etc that you might be running this is a nice feature that is on the desktop client or i've seen it in there uh, but it also will come to the microsoft teams room so being able to lock a meeting and then preventing anyone else joining after you start that call so maybe you're hosting a an important call and everyone who's there is participating but you want to lock it out so you don't get any interruptions and any anything else coming in uh so you can lock that meeting so no one else can join and maybe they can watch the recording for example so that's a great little uh, addition coming there as well the live reactions so again you know uh, thumbs up hearts etc all these actions we can do from the desktop client they'll be able to be uh, done from the center of room console as well so again great inclusive uh, when you're in that meeting space being able to do all those same features that you are from your desktop client that you've been used to using all the time 
Uh, and then coming up, we have the ability to pin multiple streams. So up to nine people you can pin. So again, if you've got certain presenters, you can pin them on the screen so you can focus on them on the front of room display. Next up, we have the presenter mode. Uh, so they will appear on the front of room display. So if someone is using the new PowerPoint Live features, you know, like the Weatherman, etc., they will appear on the front of room display as well now. So it won't just be people and content, uh, dual streaming, it will be that embedded uh, live view on there. So that's great to see as well. Again, these are all coming next month in September. We'll see. We also have the ability to split the layouts across multiple uh, displays. And again, this has been, uh, again, a popular request. Uh, people who are used, used to immersive telepresence used to have, you know, people on the left, people on the right, if there's just three people in the call. So we'll be able to do this on Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows uh, very shortly as well. So this is all in conjunction with the new dynamic displays, etc. as well. Uh, spotlight, uh, multiple streams on, on, win on the Windows platform. Uh, again, pinning those people. I'm not quite sure what's different between the pin multiple streams. Mm. Okay, we'll see when that comes out. So this is more now into the managed services. So that Microsoft Teams Room Premium. So if you want Microsoft to monitor and use AI to manage and monitor your rooms, uh, there's lots of great features coming up on here. So this is an agent that runs on the device. Again, it's Windows today, and we'll see Android in, in it shortly. But being able to come up with uh, different features, again, assign different roles to different people. So if you're in the UK, you only manage the UK sites, for example, and then manage the firmware from different OEMs. What else do we have? Room expansion planning. So, you know, if you want to have a, a set standard uh, organization worldwide and you have it in there. So again, this is something coming to the, the managed services platform. Again, this will be a great one, I think. Again, once we're using the technology from the cameras and people counting, those occupancy reports to understand, are we really utilizing the, the space as well? And I guess, uh, you know, that's coming December timeframe, but then also pray blending this in as well the value reports you know is the service worthwhile and you know how much time have you saved by using the, the teams room premium platform so probably the two exciting things coming to the microsoft teams room premium portfolio is the ability to add the surface hub uh, and also the android devices so again this is december end of calendar year again this was modified in april i don't know how well this is coming along it could be coming along quite well it might be delayed who knows but there we have it uh, adding devices so it'll be the Windows, Surface Hub, and the Android platform for collaboration bars. And then this uh, asset workflow. So again, if you've got a, a large batch of devices to add, you'll be able to import with them. So they are the main features that we can see on there. There is one other that's not listed under here, and this is guest join. So we have this today on the uh, Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows, we are able to guest join into a Zoom and a WebEx call with a simple tap of the button on the console. This will now come to Android. This was originally slated for September. As you can see it's moved to December now. So it's taken a bit more uh, time to obviously develop. So it's been pushed out by a good number of months. So if you are planning what devices to put into your organization, just remember not all features are, are feature parity from today and you know just because it's on the roadmap it's moving back it can move forward it could also get dropped these things happen with development you know not everything goes to plan so here we have the um and webex guest join access for their interesting on here have we got anything on the so on the panels we have a new entry here Teams panel check-in notification. So we just had a big release actually uh, last month and that was for line of business applications on the Teams panel. So you can now develop your own static web apps. And I have a blog post overview and all the new features there. You can hide meeting names, for example, for important areas. And you can also do remote provisioning through the Teams admin center. So you can just provide the person installing the device, just a pin number, so that's really cool. So with this new feature, the Teams panel check-in notification. This will allow you send a notification to the front of room to display to show that the next person is here for the meeting, i.e. what we, I think, initially, initially uh, discussed at launch back in December last year was like a knock-knock feature to let people know you're outside the room waiting. So it's, you know, 10.59, people are still talking away. You can hit check in. That will send an alert to the Microsoft Teams room. Now this is available for Android. So Microsoft Teams rooms on Android and it will come to the Windows devices uh, at a later date. So that's due uh, next month. So that's quite cool. 
Um, anything on the phones? Let's have a look. Better together for calls. So uh, you'll be able to use better together feature on point to point calls. Very nice. So that's uh, getting uh, these features. So using certified Microsoft Teams phones, uh, having that feature there. Walkie talkie. So that's quite cool. Is that coming to the Teams phone as well? That looks like it as well. So we have this on the mobile devices. I've seen it on, but if it's coming to Teams phones, that's quite cool as well. So end to end, regardless of what device you're on, you can make and receive calls from your Teams device or PC. So this is really nice feature where you start a call <clears throat> on one platform and then you move it to another so say from you come in from the outside on your on your mobile or cell phone and you want to seamlessly bring that to your pc because you want to sit at your desk um so again uh, you'll be able to do that from your to your uh, pc or your team's phone or your team's display so that's really cool as well sharing audio uh, on there device management and dod so that's quite cool so yeah there we have it that's what we have coming up in the roadmap um in terms of what we call our uh latest updates in our september uh, updates so watch out for more updates on what's coming i'm sure some things will get added some things might change around but you know we have the aka.ms mtr roadmap we can go to the short link and see what's happening thanks very much for watching and see you soon